Hey there, let me show you how I transform these vocal stacks from sounding like this. Retire, we go dance, we go bring the fire. Money plenty, racks and lola. Kalima or this rich old tower. It's all our. To sounding like this. Retire, we go dance, we go bring the fire. Money plenty, racks and lola. Kalima or this rich old tower. It's all our. First thing I did was to make sure I got the panning right. And you can see I pan this to the left and then this right here to the right so that it sounds balanced. And I have some also pan slightly to the left and slightly to the right so that again we're trying to get a balance with the panning while some stay in the center of the mix. And after the panning, the next thing I made sure I did was tuning them separately so that I could get that precise and accurate tuning that I wanted. So right here you can see I have a tuning right here, I have a tuning program right here and I have another one right here. So each of the stacks have its own tuning separately. So after I was done tuning, I just simply created a bus where I routed all my stacks into one main bus where I could control all of them together with, you know, a common effect. So I made sure I took away the noise. Then did some simple EQ. I took away some of the low end. Typically, I take away from about 100 to 200 hertz, depending on the vocals and, you know, how heavy they are. Then I use an analog modded compressor just to create a warmth and also to make sure the vocal stays consistent and locked in the mix. And then right here I have a fruity chorus which is just a stock plugin in FL Studio to help emphasize the chorus feel of the vocal stacks. And then right here I have a reverb running directly on the vocal stacks where it's just affecting the vocals not as a send. I typically like to apply reverb directly on the vocals rather than a send because I just like the feel. Most people do it as sends but whichever way works for you that's fine. If you find this helpful like and follow for more.